Brains are rolling. Won a bunch in a row here. I feel like I got an offensive line up here. Well, I have won at least one offensive line. Well, actually, you have two. Hey, just a second. Wolf, Back, Wolfson High yeah, School, Wolfson. man. Is that you over there, Jeff? Back in the day, yeah. Junior varsity <laughs> team yeah, back correct. in the day. That's right. Yeah. Hi, hi, Johnny. Yeah, it's beat the brains. I think you boys got to beat the brawn today too. The way this thing's stacking up. How's everybody feel? Good. Great. I'm yeah. Look, I mean, we're not, I'm nine and two personally, so I'm looking for my tenth victory all time today. Well, it's all about you, Hack. It is all about me. It yes. is all about you. Coming off that sprained shoulder from patting himself on the back after last <laughs> round, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Um, it, I, I may have heard like a little bit of angst out of Hack. I'm talking about the opponents this week. Yeah, I was a little concerned. You had, you had to dress him down a little I bit. I did. Leon. He told us we were underdogs. Like, How are we sir, underdogs? Sir. This show you is know, called Beat the Brains, bro. <laughs> Honestly, this is the first time. This is the first time I've walked in here. I saw the competition. Yeah. Got my attention. I know yeah. some of those guys. They're pretty good, uh, man. Uh, okay. Well, brimming with confidence. Let's beat the brains. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how they do this one. Get ready to flex your sports trivia muscles with the most exciting game show on the planet, Beat the Brains, where regular, ordinary sports junkies like you get to test their sports knowledge against the masters of the sports universe, the brains. So buckle in, folks. From our Hidden Hills studio, it's time to Beat the Brains. Here's your host, Jeff Prosser. All right. You know, I was going to say hold your applause, and then I said, nah, keep clapping. That's good. All right, welcome back, uh, gang. This is Beat the Brains here. We're season number two, our home, the Hidden Hills Golf Club, and each show is presented by your local Honda dealer. And we got two really good teams matched up here today, the Brains, the challengers who've got some brain in them. I'll explain that here in just a second. But first, I want to let you know that we spice things up thanks to our friends at Human, an award-winning recruitment company here in Jacksonville. It's been named the best place to work 14 years in a row. A lot like 1010XL, hobby. And um, meanwhile, uh, $1,000 to the charity of choice for today's winner. It'll be the Osprey Club that the Brains are playing for and the Jack's Humane Society for our challengers. So let me introduce our panels today. The Brains come in red hot and Beef's been a part of uh, many of those wins. Your record is now up to 13 and three. You put that on the wall anywhere at home? Do you use that as? I've earned the first round by. Currency, yes. Looking first forward round to by. Okay, well you might, might need one. Johnny Osher, good to see you again, buddy. What happened in the three? Packer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to him in, we'll get to him in a second. I think I only John have one, Jeff. John with Jaguars.com, 10 to next and a bunch of other people. The football season always busy, so good good to see you. Big Cersei on Cersei, wearing those school colors, I see. Absolutely. I yeah. heard your show earlier, so I made sure I We got a little game coming uh, up. Uh, that's we? right. We got got a game game coming, that's coming fair, up. fair enough. My shirt don't look like that on me. Hacker uh, is a back. Hacker, your dad, I think, since we saw you last. I am, yeah, yeah. brand new baby boy at home. Oh, good for you. Everything Thank going you, well? Everything's getting, great. Getting your, your beauty rest? Uh, Are you sure? We wake up a sure? little bit. Uh, the beauty rest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Right, here we go. Uh, what can I do? You know, they say yeah, good, good stuff. Uh, good to see Richard Miller, my one-time 10 xl employee. So he's got some brains in there now, voice of UNF, and that's that's been a great move for you, huh? It has been. Osprey's going to be good in basketball this year. Every year. Got a lot back. Uh, Wally Oligan, originally from Atlanta, you've worked with a bunch of Jacks so sports teams. Give yeah. us an idea of some of the stuff you've done around here. Jags, Sharks, Armada, Ice Spent, Red Bull. Yeah. All uh, yeah, basically. If there's every sports a local here. sports category you guys might want to hit that. Josh Jackson is the sports information director. Ed, Edward Waters, a longtime PA announcer for the Jacksonville Sharks and the Giants as well. Absolutely. So, Josh, it's good to have you here. Good to be here. Good I'm to be here. starting to root for the challengers. Don't tell the brains I said that. <laughs> and uh, Scott Manzi, another former 1010XLer. He's the voice of the JU Dolphins. And, you know, you learn something every day. Um, once had two lines on Sesame Street. What were those two lines? You ready for these? Ready and go. Ready, go. <laughs> well, the only one that sense. had two lines. Nine. Seven All years right. old. Well, you know how to play the game. It's been explained. As always, we'll start with a face-off question for control of the board. So give me Scott and give me Beef. Come on, Beef. Beef. Let's Come on, Beef. Beef. Start Beef. Start Beef. Serious, these boys came to play. Richard. Uh, Richard. What did I say, Scott? Scott. Yeah, you Scott. are Richard. Oh! I know, I know who Richard is. Oh! Oh! Let's start it off, Beef. Oh! oh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready? Steve Perry. The term Boo Birds largely refers to what NFL team's fans who tend to boo for almost, yes. The Philadelphia Eagles. Is correct. Baby. Yeah. Baby. 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 yeah! You take control of the board where you can choose <laughs> among these categories. Band of Brothers, Spittin' Facts, Say What, or Take Two? Huh? It's up to you, man. It's up to you. You call the baby. You're the captain. 
These guys are like brothers to me, so we're going to go with Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. This is a category about college football trivia. And again, you guys will be able to discuss this among yourselves. Challengers, pay attention. If they miss, you have a chance to steal. Your first question. What two teams played in the January 4, 2006 BCS National Championship game, which featured over 1,100 yards of offense and a final score of 41-38? That was Texas and USC. One of the best games I think I've ever seen when it comes to football, and that is the correct answer. Good job, man. That is job, 50 man. points Way to bring it. for the brains. <laughs> now for 100 points. Tied 28-28 with one second left. Which team and what type of play won the November 20th, 2013 Iron Bowl? Gosh, it been that long? 2013? Was it a missed field goal? Yeah, that was yeah. Chris Davis, 109 yards. That was a return on a missed field goal. Yes, it was. An Auburn touchdown after a uh, missed field goal attempt. All, All right. right. All right, Jack. Nice. Here you go. Question number three. In the 2007 Fiesta Bowl, down 42-41 in overtime, what team ran a successful Statue of Liberty trick play for a two-point conversion that won the game? They're coming to Jacksonville to play FSU. That's Boise State. Yes, they are. It uh, is baby. Boise State, and you had another 150 to your total. The Sorry, That's okay. I'm just kind of moving around here. All right, here we go. Fourth and final question, worth 200 points. In the fourth quarter of the Outback Bowl on January 1st, 2013, Michigan running back Vincent Smith lost his helmet and the football when he was furiously hit in the backfield by what? defenseman who also recovered the fumble. We hate him around these parts. It's Jadevian Clowney. Jadevian Clowney yes, is sir. correct. That's how he gave play, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The brains Good job, set him up and knocked Easy him peasy. down and in the first Lightwork. round with 500 points. That may be one of the more famous plays in college football history. It was amazing. Happened, right? They play it all the time. Well, we'll see if the challengers can mount a challenge. When we return, we have another uh, round of face-off questions. So that is coming up next on Beat the Brains. Beat the Brains is presented by your local Honda dealer. Also by Hidden Hills Golf Club, String Sports Brewery, Trivia Nation, Human, the Carefree Boat Club, and by Jumpin' Jack's House of Food. You ask for it, you got it. The Honda CRV is now on sale. Not $299, not even $269, just $249 a month. Right now at your local Honda dealer. Don't miss it. Oh, yeah, I like it. Rolling hills and fairways, gorgeous scenery, public access with a private atmosphere. Our championship Arnold Palmer Signature Design course is unlike any other golf course in North Florida. Come and see for yourself what others have been raving about. After your round of golf, enjoy some delicious food and drink while you relax in the Hills Grill. The club is fully equipped for banquets and weddings. And for the avid golfer, the Hills Pass is a perfect solution. Unlimited golf at one low fee. Hidden Hills Golf Club on Monument Road. It's hard to get quality time with the family. Mom, look, a dolphin! Where? I used to wonder what we could do to make weekends special together. Not anymore. We're making memories to last a lifetime. Make memories for your family with Carefree Boat Club of Jacksonville. Whether you like fishing, water sports, or just getting outdoors with the kids, you can do it all with Carefree Boat Club of Jacksonville. Call or visit our website today to schedule your personal tour. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food is Jacksonville's best fast casual restaurant. We have awesome food, use quality ingredients, all in an easygoing environment. There's food for every taste bud, so come hungry for amazing pizzas, salads, wraps, burgers, chicken sandwiches, and incredible desserts. Come experience Jumpin' Jack's House of Food on San Jose and Mandarin, and our new location coming soon in the Atlantic Village, Atlantic Beach. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, we aim to be your great neighbor. Ever wonder how much it would cost to drive a Honda Pilot, one of the finest SUVs ever built? $2.99 a month. Just $2.99 a month for a Honda Pilot. Right now at your local Honda dealer. Don't miss it. From our Hidden Hills studio, this segment of Beat the Brains is brought to you by Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, your favorite neighborhood eating spot. Welcome back to Beat the Brains, presented by your local Honda dealer. Our home for season two is right here at the Hidden Hills Golf Club. Thanks so much for being with us. 
Uh, you guys like food? Everybody like food? Yes. Yeah. You're going to want to pay attention this round. It is the Jumpin' Jack's House of Food bonus round. And if you answer the second question of the category, you're going to get dinner for four at Jumpin' Jack's House of Food. How's that sound? Sounds good. good. Uh, All right, we got Wally, food. we got John, and we got a face-off question for control of the board. Brains, 500 challengers, nothing. So this could be big. No mercy, John. Under NCAA rules, a letter of... What? Commences, yes. Intent. Intent is correct. Oh, yes, sir. Goes oh. It's also, oh. also non-tenths of the law, but that's a whole other uh, category. All right, uh, here we go. Choose from among these. Spitting facts, say what, or take two. I, maybe, I don't know. Spitting facts? I just think spitting facts is going to be right. Jackson. Spittin facts. Facts. Cool. Yeah, cool. We'll say spitting facts. Spitting facts are questions about the players on the Jaguars defense. <laughs> OK. <laughs> We'll Again, go there. Challenge is paying attention with a chance <laughs> to steal. Uh, shout out to Trivia Nation. They provide all our questions. You can catch a Trivia Nation show all around town at TriviaNation.com. Uh, all right, spit and facts. Which team traded Marcel Darius to the Jaguars? Buffalo. The Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. That's an easy question. Yes, sir. Price. Our second question. Who was second in sacks for the Jaguars in 2018. What player are the second most uh, in sacks for the Jaguars? It would be uh, Unique right. Ngakwe. Well, I mean, it's the Ozone. Nine here. and a half, oh, nine and a half sacks, yeah. that's right. No extra credit hack, you got oh, the question wow. right. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> We're still proud of you though. Uh, boy, 650, here we go. Where did Calais Campbell play college football? Oh, Leon, you wanna Leon, take this? Leon, uh, the U. The U, <laughs> it's the U. Yeah, it's the U. <laughs> All right. And your final question. In 2018, who led the Jaguars in tackles with 134? We'll go with Telvin Smith. Telvin Smith is correct. Yeah. That's a number that looks like we won't see this right. year. Well, right. oh, by the way, you hit the jump at Jack's house of food. All so right. You yeah. Yeah. You've always got that. Oh, let's eat. You see we what were hitting so many, we All lost right. track. I, I, got, I got good news for you. When we come back, we got the two minute drill. And you're going to come out one on one, hand to hand combat. You got plenty of time. You're gonna have like 1,200 points up for grabs. You got plenty of time to bite into that thousand and up in deficit. Rally time, rally time. We're excited about it. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. Really you guys are better turn them around. They got a delicious bagel. Just beat the brains. We're hitting hills, and we're coming back with a two minute drill. for it, you got it. The Honda Civic is now on sale. Not $199, not even $189, just $169 a month. Right now at your local Honda, Honda dealer. Like Don't it. miss it. Oh yeah, I like it. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food is Jacksonville's best fast casual restaurant. We have awesome food, use quality ingredients, all in an easygoing environment. There's food for every taste bud, so come hungry for amazing pizzas, salads, wraps, burgers, chicken sandwiches, and incredible desserts. Come experience Jumpin' Jack's House of Food on San Jose and Mandarin, and our new location coming soon in the Atlantic Village, Atlantic Beach. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, we aim to be your great neighbor. From our Hidden Hills studio, this segment of Beat the Brains is brought to you by String Sports Brewery, Family Beer Sports. Oh yeah, you guys missed a heck of a stare down in the break as we're getting ready for the two minute drill. We're going mano a mano. First, I want to remind everyone that this is Beat the Brains presented by your uh, local Honda dealer and we are coming at you here in season two from the Hidden Hills Golf Club. It's time now for the two minute drill brought to you by the new Strings Sports Brewery on North Main Street. They put together quite a uh, facility over there. Two full size basketball hoops, TVs everywhere, dart boards. If you love sports, you'll love strings. All right, we got Big Leon. Mm. We got Josh Jackson, Sports Information Director. The key word there is information. Yes. Let's see how much yes. of it you can utilize as we go into the two minute drill. First one to buzz in. Now, if I'm reading the question and you buzz, I stop reading the question. So mm -hmm. either make sure you know it or wait till the completion of the question. The official address of the Atlanta Braves is number 755 on the drive name for what name? Yes. Hank Aaron. Wade. Hank Aaron is correct. Mm, okay. That'll be 100 points. Good job, Josh. Good job. Challengers are on the board. Got some work to do here. Couple of old adversaries, huh? Did you guys ever work together at Tim We did many there times. All right, good for you. With? Put that all away. Put all that away, all those good feelings. All right. Members of the NFL in 1922 and 23, the all native American Oorang Indians were led by what legend? 
Yes. Jim Thorpe is correct. Yes. Yeah. There he is. Oh. Yeah. Time to squash this. You would have gotten that, right? Uh, yeah, you had that one? A little hot right. streak. Richard, you ready? You're going to keep it going? You do smell wonderful, man. Thank Beef? you. Yes. Thank you. Just got a little self-conscious there, like that was some mm. sort of shot. All right. At 7,000 feet, what Western Hemisphere city had the highest altitude ever for a Summer Olympics? Yes. Mexico City. Mexico City's correct. Right. Yeah. Hey, good, good job. Good job. Good job. The brains, good job. 1,100 to 200. Stop bleeding there this from is your me. final 100-point <laughs> question, and then we'll go for a round with 200 points each time. For 100 points, on October 17, 1989, an earthquake postponed a World Series game between what two teams? The Dodgers and the A's. Incorrect. You can steal. It, on October 17, 1989, an earthquake postponed a, World Se postponed a World Series game between what two teams just minutes before the scheduled starting time? Close, Ken. Is it the Dodgers and... Oh, come on. Dodgers or Rangers? No. Giants and the A's. It's the Giants and the A's. Yeah, yeah. Ah. It, it was the, No harm, no foul. That's correct. It was the San Francisco yeah, Bay Series, and look what we got. An earthquake. It was a little harm. Or maybe it was just the A's locker room shifting a little bit during that time with Canseco and McGuire. Maybe, maybe, maybe. a lot of juice. Flex their muscles uh, a little bit. All right. Round two, worth 200 points. Before they became the Titans, what was the nickname of the Tennessee NFL team? Houston Oilers. They were the Oilers. That's correct. Yes, nope. sir. There you go, Leon. Good job, Leon. Mm -hmm. Let's do that again. It worked last time. Hey, man. Yeah. Jim Thorpe. Pressure. A lot of pressure here. All right, that's another 200 uh, for the brains. So it's 1,300 to 200. You, you guys need to hit these last three. You ready? Robert Parrish and Johnny Moore are the only NBA players to have what unusual number of jersey? Re Double zero. That's correct. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hack. <laughs> Here you go. Hack. Good job, baby. Miss Jim Thorpe. You got that one. Like, you know, they always said, act like you've been there before. This. This is not the Barry Sanders team, all right? This is the Terrell Owens <laughs> team. Oh, this is the Deion yeah. Sanders team. That's correct. All right, here we go. What is the only team to have played in at least four Super Bowls without ever holding the lead? Oh, I don't really. Oh. Uh, I'm going to say the Vikings. That's correct. Oh, 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 oh. Way to pull it out, B. Just yeah. on the edge. B. Fran Tarkenton. <laughs> that group. All right, our final 200-point question. The NHL record for most 60 or more goal seasons in a career is... Wayne Gretzky. Uh, incorrect. That's I didn't a fair finish. guess. Okay, all right. <laughs> if I finish, you wouldn't have all said Gretzky because he's in the question. Here we go. The NHL record for most 60 or more goal, more goal seasons in a career is five, held by two former players, Wayne Gretzky and what New York Islander? Or... As an aside, name a New York Islander. <laughs> Felix Putvin. Sean Avery would be a New York Islander, but that's not the right uh, answer. Yeah, yeah, I guess. No. Mike Bossy. No. You guys remember Mike Bossy? Oh, the back great. Of the day? John? Yes, I would. Well, to the point of the uh, show program now, the show, where we come back and we do the finish line, and each team, we're going to give them a category, and they're each going to get to wager all their points in an effort to catch up. That's the way we formulated the idea of the program. When we come back on the other side, the challenger's gonna have to use some fuzzy math. The Brains yes, are gonna sir. try and finish off a very dominant performance today. This is Beat the Brains, we're at Hidden Hills, and we're back for the finish line. Ask for it, you got it. The Honda CRV is now on sale. Not $299, not even $269, just $249 a month. Right now at your local Honda dealer. Don't miss it. Oh yeah, I like it. It's hard to get quality time with the family. Mom, look, a dolphin. Where? I used to wonder what we could do to make weekends special together. Not anymore. We're making memories to last a lifetime. Make memories for your family with Carefree Boat Club of Jacksonville. Whether you like fishing, water sports, or just getting outdoors with the kids, you can do it all with Carefree Boat Club of Jacksonville. Call or visit our website today to schedule your personal tour. Ever wonder how much it would cost to drive a Honda Pilot, one of the finest SUVs ever built? $2.99 a month. Just $2.99 a month for a Honda Pilot. Right now at your local Honda dealer. Don't miss it. 
from our Hidden Hill studio, this segment of Beat the Brains is brought to you by Carefree Boat Club. Boating without owning. It's about time. And welcome back to Beat the Brains, presented by your local Honda dealer. Our home here in Season 2 is the Hidden Hills Golf Club. The finish line question is about to uh, take place. It's brought to you by our good friends at Carefree Boat Club, the place you can enjoy boating without owning. Um, by the way, this is what could have been. What did I do with my shirt? Here we go. This is what you guys could have won. Thanks to our friends at Hardball Korea. Will they, are they going to be wearing this home, Leon? <laughs> Negative. No. I'm not. just wondering if we're ever uh, going to give one uh, of those away. Know, I mean, just, just say it. Leon, you're in probably, what Hall of Fame is you? Are you in the Miami Hall of Fame? Man? I am in the Miami right, yeah, Hall You could have gone on the Wall of Fame, too, but I'm not going to rub it in. Go. All right, here we go. That's unfortunate. All right, it, during the break, our guys have made a wager. Now we're going to give the question and give them a minute to try and come up with the correct answer. All right, put the following athletes in order from tallest to shortest. Those athletes in alphabetical order are Wayne Gretzky, Oscar De La Hoya, Andrew Luck, and Mike Trout. From tallest to shortest, Gretzky, De La Hoya, Luck, and Trout. Gives me a second to thank our friends at Trivia Nation and TriviaNation.com. All the questions here on Beat the Brains come courtesy of our friends at Trivia Nation. You can find one of their many weekly shows around town. Play more than one a week if you want. You go to uh, TriviaNation.com, find out where they are uh, locating their shows. It's time to get your think on. One thing you don't really pay a whole lot of attention to are the heights of baseball players and Jeff, hockey did you, players. Did you name the players again? Jeff, the yeah, four? the players are Wayne Gretzky, Oscar De La Hoya, Andrew Luck, and Mike Trout. We're going from tallest to shortest. Familiar with Trivia Nation, a lot of their final questions are in this kind of style. are working. I want to give you about 10 more seconds to get your order down. I've so just been told in my ear, none of these guys have grown since we asked the question. So, same four guys, all still the same height. Let's just write it down. By, you hear that? We're filming before a live studio audience, ladies and gentlemen. That's exciting. All right. Got their answers. All right, first for our challengers, came in with 200 points to the final round. How much did we wager? Let's see that. Believe it or not, all 200. All 200. Yeah. Well, that's good. Go big or go home. All right, let me see what you got in order. They're going with Andrew Luck, Mike Trout, Wayne Gretzky, and Oscar De La Hoya. And it only took a half hour, but you got one right. Wow. Very good. Right on to blaze of glory. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. What is your strong? Over here. We wagered uh, 1,299 yeah. points. I don't, uh, yeah. I, they wagered 1,299. 1,299. Because they're smart that way. All right, and what's your answer? I can see by the smug look on your face. that you We know, also got it right, Jeff. Luck, <laughs> Trout, Gretzky, and De La Hoya. Shockingly. It might be a new single game record for the brains. Pushing 3,000 3, points. Nice. Well, a game effort, but that's why they call on the brains. You've been watching Beat the Brains. The brains stay hot. Winners of seven in a row. We'll see you next week. Beat the Brains has been presented by your local Honda dealer. Also brought to you by Hidden Hills Golf Club, String Sports Brewery, Trivia Nation, Human, Carefree Boat Club, and Jumpin' Jack's House of Food. This is like that moment when you stayed through the movie, you decided to stay through the credits, and you're three people left in the movie theater, yeah. and something comes on. For those people who waited around, mm -hmm. an amazing moment happens. This won't be as good as that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not, but this, this is behind the scenes. Yeah. These are the scenes. The brains. And, We're behind and them. Here we are. We're standing in front of the scenes of behind the brain. So I want to know from you, yeah. at what point in your life did you figure out that you really want to be a game show host? Yeah, do I want to be one? I'm not sure. I figured out, I don't know, about two years ago, someone asked me if I wanted to be one. And I've, uh, 
I embrace the sports side of it and the TV hosting side of it more than the, uh, but if, you know, Jeopardy's hiring, I'll listen. <laughs> I tell you what, if you don't know how hard it is to do what he does, you were, you, you this is a natural for you. you you've actually adopted this crazy world well, in a pretty good fashion. Yeah, I'd try and roll with it, I guess. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that would disagree very strongly with you, John. Very strongly. <laughs> So what do people say? You, you, you say you, it everywhere no, you go, you hear I, I, people talking. No, you know what? I, I'll give you guys credit because I no, look, I do the easy part, man. These guys run a top flight uh, operation here, and I've done a lot of local TV. I've done regional TV, and this thing, uh, the production value and the time and effort that's put in and the care that everyone takes, that's what makes the show look as good. And I think that's what I hear. I think people, you know, it doesn't look like we're doing Wayne's World from someone's basement. You know, it looks like we're doing what we're doing, putting a lot of effort in and giving some people a chance to have fun and talk sports. Yeah, there's uh, great people, great people on this crew. And we've had some great games, some not so great yeah. games, but we've had people beat the brains, which is fun. We so, did, yeah. So we look forward to season three. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like to see? Bigger, longer after parties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what we should do? Yeah. I think we should capitalize on another uh, hot show. And next year we should have a masked brain. And we put one brain incognito on the set, and then at the end of the show, we do a slow reveal. And if they lose, off with the head. Then you there never you know it. who it was. Now, wasn't that worth it, folks? Mm -hmm.